What a blessing that was. Descended all the way down from Dragon Tooth. Came to a road where to the right is Four Pines Hostel. I can't remember the name of the road now. Uh, but to the left is a place called Catawba Grocery Store. A uh, quarter to a half a mile down on the road. And I got hot dogs. <laughs> Oh, it's the little things. It's one of my favorite trail magic things is when I see somebody that has set up in their car or van or truck or whatever and just giving away hot dogs to the hikers. I don't know what it is about hot dogs. It is so good on trail. But I had a couple of those, a bag of salt and vinegar chips, a liter of Mountain Dew. <laughs> and then for the road, I got grandma's peanut butter cookies. Grandma's chocolate chip cookies. A pack of, six pack of chocolate donuts. A pack of donut sticks, two of them. Another bag of combos. These are all the things I was out of, is my snacks. They always go quickest, they always do. I uh, got meals, two or three meals left and I only need one for tonight. But that will provide me the energy I need throughout the day, in addition to what I already had, because I do have some other things too. But man, what a blessing. People get off trail, get a couple warm hot dogs, some chips, some Mountain Dew, get back on trail. I do lose a little time, but it probably puts another pep in my step as well <laughs> as I'm climbing another 5,000 or so of elevation that I have today. It will definitely help me do that even quicker. So now I'm excited. Now I'm happy. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Took the puffy off. Took the, one of my base layers off. <laughs> took one of my pairs of socks off. Yes, I had two pairs of socks this morning. I can't stand doing that because it feels like it's squeezing my foot or something. And not very comfortable, but I only do that on extreme cold mornings or at night when it's going to be extremely cold and it was down to about 15 last night with wind. So I was super warm in my bag though. Super warm, felt good. But I digress. The cold is leaving, at least for now. <laughs> so it should be a nice sunny warm day or warmer 50s, I think. Up high 60s, a little lower elevation. I shouldn't be in lower elevation too much today though. But I digress. It's time to go on to step two. McAfee Knob with some ridge walking and some farms before then. <laughs> but it's time to progress on to number two of the Triple Crown. Look how crystal clear that creek is. Partially because it's not moving in this particular area. <laughs> so you can see right through to the bottom, which is only six inches or so <laughs> that's pretty very pretty here's it moving a little bit yep still crystal clear i love it i love it a lot Excuse me, through hiker, just passing through, through hiker, just passing through. Hi, my name is Fortune. Nice to meet you. I won't be here long. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> That tree right there means 
Spring is coming. Have I told you that I love meadows and pastures? Absolutely gorgeous. Not 100% sure, but I'm about 83.98% sure <laughs> that that is Coal Mountain, where Dragon's Tooth is. It's rocky, and the descent's about the same from what I can see here. Can't really see Dragon's Tooth up on top with the trees, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Looks really cool from here. Even if it's not Coal Mountain, it looks really cool anyway. <laughs> Have you ever just felt like he was doing something wrong, but you wasn't quite sure, couldn't put your finger on it? I put my finger on it. <laughs> I've been calling it Coal Mountain, where Dragon's Tooth is. It's not Coal Mountain, it's Cove Mountain. All of a sudden I had an epiphany as I was walking. I'm like, I don't think Coal Mountain is right. So I looked it up and then I went back and looked at the video clip from earlier. So I have to fix that. Cove Mountain, not Coal Mountain, is in the bag. Ridge walking. It's the Virginia way. <laughs> Got to go slow with these leaves. I found out earlier, and they get deep at times. And you don't know if you're stepping on a rock or a root or something movable that makes your foot slide. You gotta go nice and steady with them. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. My pants keep falling down on this triple crown as I walk on higher ground. I may never come back down. <laughs> You're probably all thinking, what the heck kind of style music was that, Fortune? <laughs> you never know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> so about halfway through the day so far, it's noon right now, and standing right around 12-ish miles and about 12-ish miles to go for this Triple Crown of Virginia day. It is warming up quite nicely. The wind is still a little chilly. Must be a north wind or something. I don't know. It just has a really cold breeze. Uh, I mean, a cold feel to the breeze. Uh, but it's warming up. It's probably getting close to 40, 45. I think it's supposed to be up, like, like I said, 50, 55, something like that, up higher. 
uh, close to 60 down below. It won't be down below too much today, but it is turning out to be one heck of a beautiful day. Not much haze, a little bit, but not much. So I should get some really epic views from McAfee Knob and the Tinker Cliffs. Just crossed Highway 311. A noisy highway. <laughs> this is where the trailhead parking is for McAfee Knob. So I am starting to climb McAfee Knob right now. 3.9 miles to the summit. They actually have the parking lot closed right now for construction. Looks like some people are parked over there. I don't know what that is, overflow or whatnot, but uh, rumor is that they're making a crosswalk going from the AT, like a overpass going over the traffic, which makes sense because it is a busy road, it could be quite dangerous, especially with a hiker that might be impatient or thinking <laughs> everybody's moving three miles an hour, <laughs> but on my way up to McAfee Knob now. now. you two one of you wouldn't be happen to be named McAfee would you view this is still McAfee knob this is just a second set of cliffs as you can see there was some young ladies chilling and hanging out and talking on the edge of the cliff so I didn't want to disturb them I waited for a few minutes and I had a snack and they weren't leaving so I went on because I seen on the map there was a second set of cliffs here this is pretty awesome. I love it. Oh. 
I'm already descending McAfee Knob, the first cliff overlook. There were uh, people talking, like I said, so I just having a good old time. Didn't want to interfere or interrupt them. So I went to the second cliff and uh, got some pictures and videos. And then I left. <laughs> totally forgot the most important thing. And that is to declare that McAfee Knob is in the bag. All right. So that's two. Dragon's Tooth and McAfee Knob. One to go. Tinker Cliffs. In about five miles to complete the Triple Crown of Virginia in one day. I am right now right around 18 miles and 5,500 feet of elevation. Descending before ascending again. Which will take me to the cliffs. I don't know. I might go up and down several times, but I know I'm going down right now from McAfee Knob. So it is within sight and it is still a very reasonable time of day. I should be done and sheltering an hour, maybe two hours before sunset. It's been an epic day. I'm loving it. Not sure if you can see that or not. These humps here, part of the ridge line, I guess. And this is Tinker Mountain. Because I could see the cliffs up there at the top, all across that flat part of the summit. So that's where the Tinker Cliffs come into play. Nice rusty color, the mountain. I love seeing a mountain before I climb it. And I like seeing it after I've already climbed it. <laughs> now I know why Tinker Mountain was rusty colored from a distance. This has been covered with leaves, sometimes up to my knees, but uh, having these little bare spots are a reprieve for my ears because <laughs> it gets really loud, especially when it's high because you end up scuffing and kicking them because easier to do that to see if there's anything underneath and stepping all the way through it that's kind of similar to stepping through snow and ends up adding weight to your steps but not as much weight as snow obviously but it's still kind of annoying so it's easier to scuff and it makes it easier for the people behind to know where the trail is too got about three more miles i think to uh, the summit, about a thousand feet. I think this up here is hump number two that I'll be crossing over before getting to the main part where I'm climbing to the summit. Roanoke right there in that valley. Part of it at least. That's pretty cool. It's a good distance from Roanoke. So obviously being high up and it being in a valley nestled around those mountains makes it somewhat visible from here. It's pretty cool.
right there is McAfee Knob. And somewhere over there is Cove Mountain and Dragon's Tooth. Absolutely stunning. And in wide angle. I'm standing on the summit of Tinker Mountain and the southernmost Tinker Cliff with absolutely stunning views all around. Woo! And Tinker Mountain is in the bag. And don't think I forgot. Looking down in the valley again. McAfee Knob over there. And in the distance, Cove Mountain, Dragon's Tooth. And the Virginia Triple Crown is in the bag.